Hey Capricorn, what's up y'all? Let's see who and what is coming towards you. We're going to start with what. When I switch over to the pink cards, that'll be who and love. So if you want to scroll ahead, that's fine. We have the five of pentacles. Hmm. Taurus energy. What is the five of pentacles? The devil in reverse. I like that. The five of wands in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse. Okay. Well, Capricorn, this could either be you overcoming an addiction Somebody's addiction could be hitting, hitting rock bottom around you. Or for some of you, you're cutting off drama. Could involve a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, another Capricorn or a Taurus person. This could be a five-year cycle closing out. Some of you, maybe over the last week, um, have decided to cut somebody off here. Could be somebody with a lot of addictions. Could be somebody that's always needing you to bail them out or something like that. Understand this could be family, friends, anybody. Some of you are no longer, it's like the, the bank is closed is what I just heard. Like you're no longer giving money to people. They always have a sob story. What's the five of pentacles? Yeah, the eight of swords. This could be somebody in and out of jail. For some of you, there's somebody in your life that makes poor choices. Or it could be you. You're breaking free from that. Page of cups. It could be your child for some of you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody who's just childish. Very immature. Somebody's a man child or woman child. Yeah. So there's something here about some of you embracing the new. You're just ready for a new beginning. You're ready for peace and happiness. And you're listening to your intuition here when it comes to the people around you. Three of Cups is here. So I do see you hanging out with your friends more. Some of you are making more time for fun. Travel. Good times. Yeah, there's definitely somebody in your energy. I just heard somebody's baby daddy. You're trying to get back on somebody. And it feels like whoever this person is, they're, they're not as loyal to you as you've been to them. Could be a Libra or a Scorpio. Yeah, that's what I'm saying for you. So that's in general, but we will see what's going on with the love portion. Who's coming towards you in love? What do they want? <laughs> Are their intentions good? So far, Taurus, the only one that got a weird reading with that. But we'll see. Who's coming towards Capricorn? Who's coming towards Capricorn? Oh, date card. The two of wands. Could be an Aries. This is somebody that might actually have long-term plans with you. You might have to come out of your comfort zone to date this person. This could be somebody asking you out on a date. And for some of you, maybe you're already with somebody and this is somebody new. Could be an Aries season or it could be an Aries. What are their intentions? We have the queen of swords, the bitch. Hmm. Libra energy. So this is somebody who in, is intending to watch you, study you, feel you out. Okay. Queen of swords is somebody that's interested in you, but they, they're vetting you. They're carefully considering you. Okay. This is a person that does not wear their heart on their sleeve. They have a real serious poker face. They might even look mean. <laughs> this could be in Libra season. Okay, what is the outcome, the likely outcome? The Four of Cups. Hmm. Cancer energy, reflection. Hmm. So the outcome is showing up as the Four of Cups. And that talks about emotionally withdrawing, um, being apathetic, you know, something being on the back burner, out of sight, out of mind. I don't know about if I like that. What's going on with the Two of Wands? As the person. Yeah, send home the tower. Scorpio Aries energy. Um, Watch out for somebody trying to come into your life that might be like getting put out of somebody else's home. Or like something that's falling apart in this person's life and they're just like trying to rebound. Oh God. What's the queen of swords? The sun. You're going to have to really get to the bottom of something with this person. This is like a very assertive energy. It's a very analytical energy as well. This person is attracted to you, but it could be a Leo. What is going on here? The Ace of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, so you got to get to the truth about this person. They could be a person who comes across their intentions, seem like they're like laying it right out in front of you. And these cards look like they are. This is a straight shooter. This is definitely about um, integrity, clarity. 
conversation, communication, having a grown-up conversation here. You got to get to the bottom of something with somebody or they're like asking you a lot of questions or something. What's going on with the, the two of wands and the, the tower? There could be another situation that they're coming out of, though. I just don't know if I like how it was ending. Yeah, the three of swords with um, the wheel of fortune. So this is saying red flags and destiny. Hmm, Y'all. This reference is a love triangle with third party. I don't think they have a, a third party in the sense that they still mess with them. I feel like they're coming out of a situation. They're red flags here. Libra energy, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius energy showing up here. I feel like they're coming out of something and maybe they're not as stable as you think they are. Why am I feeling like that? Like maybe they, they took a loss financially. Yeah, the marriage card, Ten of Cups, and then a reality check to end. Yeah, there's a marriage that's ending. Scorpio Pisces energy. Some of them are ending a marriage here. You got 10 10. You could be saying 10 10. Hmm. What are their intentions? Walking away. The Eight of Cups. See, what did I tell you? They're packing their bags. Self-elimination. This person, and look how they, they roll in their little bag. I just kind of feel like, Capricorn, if I'm being honest, make sure this person is not rebounding. Make sure they're not rebounding. I feel like whatever this is, is over. But what I'm saying is, I know, I think y'all know what I'm saying. Like when somebody's emotionally like right out of something else, this is like, man, are you really ready for a new relationship? You just closed out a whole marriage. Or it's a situation where do they need a place to stay? Because he's packing his bag. Packing the bag and now you're wheeling it away. So where are you going? This could be a person who took a lot of financial losses in a divorce or something like that. So just be careful with that. If that's not their story, then don't worry about it. Because they're showing up as an honest person. But I do feel like they're they're like fresh out of another relationship. What's the outcome here? The Hierophant. This is a person reflecting on their marriage, though. This is the institution of marriage, and they're reflecting. What, why are they reflecting? It could be a Taurus. Okay, the King of Wands. This person is proactive. They are action-oriented. They are leading by example. They are taking the lead here. And they do have long-term intentions. They do. Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. But see, they might be embroiled in some kind of weird thing. Capricorn, Libra energy, like somebody here still, uh, what is this? Yeah, it's like you're getting to know them, but somebody else is feeling rejected. I don't feel like they want this person, though. I don't, if I'm being honest with you. There could be a Gemini here, and then we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So I feel like this is you getting to know them, but somebody else here is still heartbroken over them. And I do feel like they don't want them, but at the same time, I just feel like... Is it a healthy thing to jump right into another relationship? You have options coming in. Especially in Scorpio season, you have options. A lot of options. Just choose wisely. Pick your poison. You know, don't feel like you have a fear of missing out on love. Like if you don't, some of y'all might be like, well, if I'm not in a relationship by this particular time, that's, you know, it's never going to happen. Don't put a timetable on it, a time frame on it. Just kind of like go with the flow. Is what I feel like Spirit is telling you. I feel like you have multiple options. There is one that's standing out, but this person does feel like they have baggage. That's what I would use. They have baggage. They do. And whether they are entertaining the person or not, the person feels like a headache. Okay, y'all. May even like want to be confrontational with you, fight with you. Just be careful, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace.